Gavin, first, congratulations. What a match. Yeah, it was uh, a good match towards the end for me. I was frustrated early on, but thankfully got over the winning line again. Was that your A game we saw tonight? No, I don't think it was. Uh, I played well in patches, but there's plenty more in the tank. I just got to try and find it. We didn't see that much emotion from you up there. You weren't looking too comfortable until you got that superb 1-2-4 checkout and leveled the match. Was that really when the adrenaline kicked in and you sort of a turning point for you? Yeah, I was getting frustrated, I think, early on. So I was trying to contain myself, keep myself focused. And then when I finally got back on level terms and I knew I was playing better than Dave, I knew I was... I was like scoring better on, on my legs, but I was just letting him off on his legs. So I just knew, get a break back, get in front of him, put under a bit more pressure, and that I'd go on and win the match. But yeah, it was difficult early on. Um, next up, you've got Jose de Sousa. He's in great form at the moment, like yourself, get, getting there. What sort of match are you expecting from him? Yeah, I know Jose's gonna. He's gonna score well. He's gonna. He's going to be down on on doubles, you know, after 12, 13, 14 darts, 15 darts. He's going to be there waiting to, to ping things out. But I know my scoring game needs to be there as well as my checkouts. But I just focus on my own game, concentrate on what I'm doing and just let him carry on with his own game. Did you watch the Peter Wright match last night? I actually saw the last three, four, five legs. So, yeah, it was a fantastic game. I, I was looking on the flash goes to, just to keep up. Peter was 7-3 up before the game was done. And then I, I sort of looked at the end and watched the last couple of legs. So yeah, what a great game. And you haven't got past the quarterfinals yet um, in the match play. Is this the year you can go all the way? Well, fingers crossed. I mean, I mean the crowd seemed to be with me in patches. So yeah, as long as the crowd keep on my side and, and let me play some, some darts, then there's no reason why I can't you know, get past the quarterfinals and go and pick this trophy up. Fantastic, good luck. Well no worries, done. thanks. Jesse, trailing at that second break, you come back out and you look like you had rejuvenated. What did you say, sir, from that break? Because it was the vintage German price after that. No, I, I, I just said keep doing what I'm doing, just score, try and score a little bit better because I knew on my legs I was I was probably winning them quite easy and then just give it, gifting legs to Dave you know, on, on his row. But I just thought second, uh, third break, uh, like it was on Monday, just come out doing the same as what I did try and do the same way I did against uh, Martin Schindler and that's what happened yeah, and, and halfway through I was thinking you know, get this to 9-6 have another break but there wasn't a break <laughs> and it, it got to 8-7 I was about to walk off but yeah I was just thankful to that one 2 four. I think that's probably the shot that won me the match Back in the Premier League in Belfast we saw you play one of the best spells of darts we've ever seen do you feel that that's getting close? We saw three big finishes tonight. The 180s were back. We saw you with a spring in your step. Is that form close? Yeah, it is close. It just needs... It needs. I just need more consistency, more confidence. I know just playing and winning, that's what breeds confidence. And I'd missed a couple of pro tours, missed a couple of Europeans because I needed some time off. You know, the Premier League is, is uh, it's not the easiest place when you're travelling quite a lot. So... Yeah, I've got Monday to Friday off most weeks now and then come into these big tournaments. So my, my A game is, is not there yet, but it's coming back. How important is it to you as well? Obviously, you've got all of the family up here this week as well. When you look over, when you're doing special things, that they're there cheering you on. Is that a, a big thing for you? Yeah, I mean, first of all, that's all I could do is Dave's manager shouting <laughs> and screaming. I was like, <laughs> that's what was probably bugging me early on as well. But then, yeah. When I turn over and see see my wife and my kids and they're all cheering, jumping up whenever I hit the big shot out and win legs, yeah, certainly helps. Okay. Just okay, so you're starting to feel a bit, bit more at home at this venue, you seem to re really enjoy yourself. Yeah, but I mean the crowd certainly helps, you know, they, they've been on my side, they've not been putting me off which has been good and yeah, I'm not at my best, my ultimate best, but my B game seems to be enough at the moment and as long as the crowd give me a fair chance and be as good as they have over the last you know, two games, then yeah, there's no reason why I can't go and pick this trophy up. You mentioned a few times about confidence and getting that back. Have you doubted yourself at any point over the last few years? Yeah, 100 percent. I mean, if you don't doubt yourself when your back's against the wall, then you're not a human. I think every, every dart player does, every football player, every sports person, when, when things ain't going to plan, you always doubt yourself. But yeah, I, I would come back out fighting and I'm not at my best yet, but I'll be back. Cheers, because it's been said many times that this is the, the best crowd in darts. Do you feel that's true? Yeah, even when the crowd's against me, you know, Winter Garden's the, the best atmosphere apart from Cardiff, obviously. But yeah, it's a similar sort of crowd, you know, two and a half, three thousand people. 
the crowd's right on your atmosphere is brilliant you know and, and it's even better when they when they're with me as well so yeah this is probably one of the one of my favorite venues even though i haven't done so well over the last couple of years up to 16 in the quarterfinals you then get a huge, huge amount of opportunities to play the the long run formats you're looking forward to that opportunity yeah definitely because you know those my game hasn't been brilliant obviously over the last couple of couple of months but the longer the format the better it is for me to come into my game. You know, if it was first to six today, first to six, first to six on Monday, I was gone. So the longer the format, the better I, the better I become. Cheers, no worries. Go in to see. Uh, do you feel like you're getting that kind of fear factor back against other players? Because like yeah. last year, it looked like players were scared to play you, and then it's really dipped. Do you think that's coming back? Possibly. I'm not sure. You have to ask the other players, but hopefully that's the case. I mean. You do need that bit of fear factor. Yeah. That certainly gets you over the line sometimes when you're not playing at your ultimate best. But I'm not sure. Hopefully, you can ask some other people and they say, yeah. Yeah, and um, the rest factor. Do you think that how important is that? Was the Premier League just a lot, you know all those matches you ended up playing? Yeah, it's just you know you go Premier League, then you travel Wednesday, play Thursday, travel Friday. You go to a pro tour or a European, and then maybe they'll put a pro tour in midweek. So it's just trying to balance it and do what's best for you. And yeah, I found out early on or mid part of the Premier League that playing everything wasn't uh, so good for me. And just one last one: can we have categoric denial that that's not you and Palantero? I know my wife showed me that. It's, <laughs> he's actually a bit skinnier than me, so no, it's not me. <laughs> Who's the best look like ever? Uh, honestly, I, I had to look twice myself. <laughs> it's like I don't even play golf, but possibly I don't know. Yeah, it actually does look like. <laughs>